Judge called a double murder def defendant the embodiment of evil. Fatima Avila, accused of being the mastermind behind two killings in July, now the 20 year old wants out of jail. Fox 13's Gloria Gomez shows us what the judge decided to do. At just 20 years old, Fatima Garcia Avila, detectives say, planned and executed two murders. Now she wants out of jail, but prosecutors are fighting it. This is chilling. During a bond hearing, the lead detective described the cold and calculated killing of Erica Negrete Avilas. He says on July 18th, she was gunned down by Garcia Avila and her boyfriend, Daniel Negrete. Investigators say Negrete pulled the trigger. And the cause and manner of death? Homicide. Fatima Garcia Avila. Prosecutors say Fatima Avila was the mastermind behind the revenge killings. They say Fatima helped her boyfriend, Daniel Negrete, kill his cousin's wife, Erica, because they believed she was having an affair with a co-worker. Erica was shot outside her home in Dover. Her husband, Cornelio Negrete Jr., was shot too, but he survived his injuries. Investigators say text messages between the couple gave them a play-by-play -play of the murders. Daniel messages the defendant on my way, exclamation point. Um, the defendant messages Daniel at 10.08, 52 seconds, it's done, exclamation point, question mark. Daniel messages her back at 10.09 and six seconds, Y-E-E, -E, ye or yes. But this twisted plot wasn't over. Fatima, they say, planned to pin the murder on her ex-boyfriend. She stated to the identifiable witness that who better to take the fall than my ex. On July 26, Antonio Celad Enriquez was found dead at the Baker Creek boat ramp in Thanona Sassa. Detectives say Daniel Negrete was the shooter, but tried to make it look like a suicide. By then, the judge had heard enough. That you're plotting to frame an innocent person and murder that person for the first murder. And your body language and demeanor in here are chilling. You look bored. To me, you are the embodiment of evil. Gloria Gomez, Fox 13 News. The defendant was denied bond and will remain in jail while she awaits her trial.